My name's Ethan, I work at Flint Creek Outfitters, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to tie the coupon crab. So I'm going to start off my thread towards the back of the hook, and I'm going to tie in two pieces of marabou. You know, we use that just for a little extra, little extra movement in between the hackles that we're going to splay. So I just make a couple wraps on there and cut that off and make it look nice and pretty. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just add some flash, a little bit of bling never helps, it never hurts. Throw some red in there, looks good contrasted up against that black and purple. Now we got the grizzly and the, the purple hackle, do my best to splay them out. After I get the feathers splayed out the back, I'm going to add two of these nice red EPIs. Give it a real, real, real shrimpy, crabby look to it. Wrap that up towards the marabou. Now we just got to split them. There's that. Now we just now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the fluffy part of the feather. That's what we want to use. Gives it a lot of movement in the water. I'm going to put the black in first, and after the black, we're going to put the purple. Now we're going to put in the purple. fly. It's a suspending fly but it's got a lot of action in the water. You know it's got the traditional seducer style with the hackles splayed out the back and then the EP crab eyes and two hackles palmered in the front. Now this one I tied in the black and purple. Everybody knows the black and purple is the traditional tarpon colors and this one's got you know when the sun's real high you want to throw something with a lighter color. You can you can also tie this black and purple as black and red. You can tie this one as yellow and chartreuse. I like the tan and chartreuse because you know it's still got that bright chartreuse and the tan I think it really adds and makes it look real crabby moving through the water and they hammer it. 